guys welcome welcome back to my channel today i am going to be opening door number 20 of my messy advent calendar and i am also going to be going and doing a barn tour of maple springs this probably won't be a very long video because there isn't really much of the barn to show you but i thought i might as well so let's begin let's go ahead and open up the 20th door pure guesses down below my guess is going to be um a thoroughbred i'm going to guess the chestnut thoroughbred okay let's open it up three two one oh i've got thoroughbred park correct um the dark the dark brown dark bay thoroughbred i believe looks a bit like ace lots of you might be like oh my god that's ace no it isn't this is not ace this is actually a thoroughbred ace was a welshie so they are very different and ace also had a big old white stripe down his face oh this horse reminds me so much of ace though he's very pretty i might get one like this in the future i really really like this horse it's adorable i really love him what do you guys think all of the horses are already in their field so i'm just going to go over so this here is a stable it has one two three four five six seven eight stables for my horses and i also have a tacking up area either side which is very big so usually i'd either tack the horses up or i'd tie them up outside and i also have a little place to store all of their buckets some of their rosettes and of course the barn cat milton you can't forget him he's just adorable and i love the little hat he wears it's, it's just too cute and then here i also store some hay and i have the barn rules up not many people read this but i do like it when you do so i'm just gonna show you guys it in a minute so it says keep sanitary equipment and place items in correct room don't run or shout in the barn or closed arenas with or close arena closed i can't read that from here closed arenas with horses don't feed owned horses without owner's permission place any sorts of rubbish in trash cans so i hope you guys all heard that um outside there is a field i'll be showing you it in a minute and that is where i keep my land rover so then i can attach it to the trailer so next i'm going to go on into the tack and feed room this room i like to chill out with my friends in but this side is a feed room it's very big very pretty it's quite spacious and of course we've got the little taps and a grains of feed you can't forget the lockers as well i sometimes just store either some tack in here or sometimes i would store like feed buckets pitchforks just everything to get it out of the way and you can't forget our miniature christmas tree that i bought for christmas it's very cute i love it and some of the feeds that you can have then this side here is some a way to keep the tack so there are currently three saddles up at the moment there is my dressage saddle and two of my jumping saddles the other two saddles i was cleaning this morning so they aren't here at the moment and then i also have some saddle pads towels in case it's raining helmet boots i've also got a medical kit as well and if i come round course there's a little seating area come round past the medical kit there are some little jars where i keep some of my horse's treats for example apple nuggets is one of them and then there's just some of these and you can keep the vitamins in there as well cupboards with well tax bridles all of that in it and then up here there are just a couple of bridles lead ropes leads for the dogs because i'll show you the dog after another medical kit there is also a bench here along with the seating area but i don't tend to sit on that bench much i tend to just sit on these chairs so now i'm going to show you the indoor arena here it is it's quite a large spacious arena they keep some of the poles up hanging on the wall some chairs a little jump we don't tend to change around this arena that much because not many people use it however i will probably be using it when well when it just rains snows a bit harder the moment it's all right and there's also another door that leads out to the paddock next are the paddocks also next to some of the paddocks there is a trailer here and another trailer over there 
which usually I would use this one whether that one I actually took to a show that I had I didn't get any videos as my storage is playing up however that was a trailer that I've taken so that's why it's still connected to the car so here is one of the paddocks there are a couple of horses in here some are mine some aren't mine so I'm not going to show all of them unless they're mine but there's a nice few trees in here there's also a little shelter in the field that i'm in there is trixie fern pebbles and who was it oh and brandy so they're all in this paddock it's one of the small paddock one of the bigger paddocks actually however there is an even bigger one which is over here which i keep bluebell juniper mini um jedi Ooh, jedi and is that all of them i feel like that's... i feel like i'm missing one i hope i'm not there's there's four or five in here i don't know but i'm like both these paddocks are quite big as i have quite a lot of my horses in there along with some of my friends other people's horses which i'm not going to show but that all of the horses are in the paddocks at the moment which is the reason why they weren't in the field or weren't in the stable sorry and there oh i've also got chickens this one here is cluckers cluckers is quite a big chicken he's a bit scary all the little horses seem to be scared of him but not as scared as they are of nugget nugget is literally so scary she's over here don't run away from me please nugget so guys, here is Nugget. Um, you can, oh my so you can probably see why all of the horses seem to be quite scared of her. So that is all of the chickens. I've got a dog out the front of the stables, which I'll show you at the end of the video. His name is Clifton. So he is adorable. But first I'm gonna show you um, arenas. So this arena is sometimes used for either shows or warm-ups or sometimes just practicing in general these jumps are well we tend these jumps we tend to kind of change the height of most of the time however we don't always move them around usually we keep them in this space every i don't know four or so months we might change them around but we tend to keep them over to the they are as loads of people do shows and it has to be this kind of jump for the course so this is the first one there's also a little mountain block down there um here is sometimes i like to stay overnight in the stables or me and my friends like to have a sleepover so sometimes we'd stay in here one of us would sleep on the sofa the other would sleep in the bed and then of course there's some pictures not of me because this is just a pony club camp area so these aren't of me one of them is actually my friend up there i don't know what one one of them is my friend i can't i don't know where she was because i had one of her horses his name was perla she sorry her name was perla um i'm not going to say my friend's name of course for safety reasons but she was actually up there and then here is the muck heap i hate the muck heap it just smells so i'm, I'm gonna move away from that and i've also got some of the hay and haylage which i like to put down fresh for the horses every day well not well it depends because i muck them out every day usually put down fresh haylage or hay for them we're very very spoiled horses so they are both in the paddocks and an arena and then here is actually a pole work arena which nothing set up just yet because nobody's been using it i will be using it i usually use this one with trixie just before or when we're going to warm up and then through here is got to be one of my favorite arenas which is the hunter arena all of these jumps are very creative and they're quite bright some of them i love these ones because they're a bit like arena cross country like eventing arena eventing however they aren't they're actually the hunter jumps but they are very pretty wait guys can you let me know below what's the difference between hunter jumping and uh event arena eventing i can't really tell i think 
I think hunter jumps are just like these kind of jumps that are in this arena. In arena eventing is when you actually have the cross country fences in the arena. I think that's the difference at least. So here are some of the jumps, they're very, very beautiful. Around there is actually just a wood, so I'm not gonna show you that as it's very big. So I'm just gonna quickly hop over the fence. And then here we are onto the next arena. This one, anyone is free to use. If you're a novice, advanced, anybody can just come in here when they like. You can book it out, you can hire the arena, which sometimes I do, but I don't hire out many arenas apart from the one that I hired out with Trixie for the video. But you can also hire out this one. But most of the time, this one is where all the pony club or events are held in this arena for jumping which I really, really, really like this arena because it has multiple jumps, some little cones to go around, poles on the floor, and I just personally really like this one. So that is pretty much for the arenas, apart from the one that I'm about to show you. Wait, anyway, guys, this is the front of the stables at the moment, and quickly, I'm going to show you Clifton. Here he is. He is a German Shepherd Alsatian. He is very cute. He's got his mouth open at the moment. He seems very excited to see me. He usually stays in here, but occasionally he would come out and just wander around to say hello to the chickens. So now I'm going to go and show you the back arena. Okay, I am almost there. Here we are. So this is the big dressage arena. This one I really like to use because sometimes if, with me and my friends, if I do riding dares, we would usually do it in here because it's a big open space that is luckily closed in so the horses can't escape. The sand here is very, very soft. And most of the time, this is where all the dressage events are held. I might one day hold a dressage event. It depends. But this one, I really like this arena. I will probably be doing an, a video in here soon. So, yeah. Okay guys, thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!